This is Deepak from Epiteria. In this video, we are going to learn how to create circular progress button. Instead of showing normal progress dialog box when the button is clicked and the progress is happening in the behind, uh, you can use this type of stylish button to show the progress. You can also show the error messages, success messages on the same button with different colors on the button. So let's see how to do this. I'm using Android Studio 2.2.2. I'm going to create a new project for this. Loading button example. Next, I'm going to keep API 15 empty activity and I'll name it as login activity. In this example, we are going to create one login activity and on the login button, we are going to show that animation uh, using this loading button. So to use this library, we need to add a dependency in our Gradle file. So I'll open Gradle file for that module. And this library, which is from the GitHub that we need to import. So after adding that, I'll just click on sync now. Okay, now project is ready. In that layout part, we first change my layout type to linear layout. I will set the orientation to vertical. Then on my login screen, I will add two edit text boxes. edit text for username and I'll add one more for password I will also set the input type as password fine now I will add the button that is circular progress button that is this now in this we are going to set few properties that is first we'll set the radius if you want to show a rounded edge corners then you need to set this corner radius property I'll set it to say some number that is 48 dp then you need to set the text which you want to show on error so I'll say login failed try again right. uh, now to add this in string.xml file just hit alt enter extract sync resource and I'll say login failed okay also you need to add one more text that is when the uh, process is completed successfully so that is text complete property <coughs> so here you need to set login success right so I can extract login successful you need to set text property text idle property when that button is at idle state that is there is when there is no animation happening so I'll set it as login now my button is ready now in the code behind that is in our login activity dot java file I will create object of circular progress button and two edit text boxes that is for username and for password in on create <coughs> I will 
initialize all my views I find view by id method okay i forgot to give id to my button so you need to add one id that is circular progress button login that is my id so i'll say circular progress button login i will also initialize for my both the edit text boxes objects are ready so on circular progress button first we need to set this set indeterminant progress mode to true if you want to show indeterminant progress on the progress button if you want to show the exact progress then you need to set this to false and you need to set the exact progress whatever when the progress is happening in the background so example if you are going to use this button for a uh, file download program then you can show the exact progress of uh, the file percentage of file is downloading then in that case you need to set it to false and you need to upgrade or publish your progress at different stages so here we are going to show indeterminate progress so i am setting this to a uh, true so that uh, we are not very sure ki what is the exact progress so in that case we can use this to true now i am setting this on click listener now in this on click listener there will be three stages of this button uh, first is if nothing is set on this button that means this button is at idle state then we will start animation so when the progress is zero that means the button is at idle state then we will set the progress to some number so that it will start animating else another condition when the button is at minus 1 this minus 1 means you can show the error messages if that login is failed at that time we need to set the progress to minus 1 so if it is at minus 1 then we will again reset it to the idle position and if the success it is at the stage of success then we will redirect user to another activity right that is on the home activity so before that we need to add one more activity in our project so i'll name it as main activity now here i'll say start new intent login activity dot this comma main activity dot class right so when it is successful now to show or to see that anim animation we are going to add some delay so that we are uh, we'll able to see that animation which is happening when i click on that button right so for that we are going to use a handler class so i'll say new handler dot and i'm going to use this post delayed method in this we need to pass the runnable object and here we need to set the delay so i am going to add the delay for 3 seconds so i am writing one 3000 there now here i will check if username dot get text if username is this and so is equal to 1 2 3 then it is user is user have entered the correct correct username and password so i will set the progress to 100 that is that means successful and else i need to set it to minus 1 that is error if user has entered wrong username and password All right so that's it our code is 
done now we'll just execute this and we'll see how this looks so it is asking me to install on the miui now that project is loading so first i'll enter some wrong password and username so you can see that animation and it is showing error that is login failed now i'll enter the correct username and password and login again now you can see that login success if i click on this it will take me to the another activity so thank you for watching guys you can download this project the link is given in the description box of this video for more videos like this subscribe our channel thank you